Don't complain when you didn't get your part when history was made. When this market's gone, you'll never see it again. Never. If you guys want to be the best in business, I'm going to ask you this. You better figure out how to kick your own ass. If not, someone else is going to come kick y'all's ass. You think that just because you guys have it now, it can't be snatched from you? I dare you to let your guard down for a second. We've had the wind in our cells with this market. It is time to wake up, and I'm going to share with you. Production will come back. It will. It'll come back, and when it does, prices will stabilize. Front-end grosses will go down. Why don't we take advantage of everything and all these blessings we have right now and attack? Can I ask you a question? I know you guys are great in the area and everybody knows you're doing okay, but are you guys shutting down stores? Are you? Why not? Are you not good enough? I'm shutting down training companies. I, I kick Grant Cardone out of the automotive space. You know what I believe? I believe in taking down Goliaths, okay? I believe in taking down Goliaths. He's talking about AutoNation. Would you buy more stores if you had more people? Yes or no? Yes. Who in here wants to run a damn store? Wake up. I just asked a guy a question. Would you buy more stores if you had more people? Why don't you have your own store? You know why? Because you got comfortable. Slap his ass and wake him up. No, I mean it. Okay? Because listen to me, he could be making a million dollars a year. Okay? But guess what? You two got to grow together and decide that it's time to go to war. Okay? I am telling you right now, as much as it seems like this is some pep talk, this isn't. There's those who get what they want in life and everybody else. Don't complain when you didn't get your part when history was made. When this market's gone, you'll never see it again. Never. Never. You know when people get rich? In little niche slots like right now. Okay? So, this is what I see. Lots of managers running around with heavy wallets. They're making more money than they made last year, and they think it was them. It had nothing to do with you. Toyota said 2019 they hit $1 billion. Gulf State said in 2022 they hit $4 billion. They go, do you think we really got four times better? Seriously? No. We better get good real fast because when the market shifts, we don't want to give this profit back. Do you want to give up these profits? No. Do you guys want to give up these profits? No. What happens if you don't train your people and get on board right now in the market shifts? You guys are acting like you want to give them up. Yeah, you're acting like you want to give them up. When I walk up to your manager, one of your salespeople in the training, you know what I ask them? I said, hey, do your managers encourage you and motivate you every day to become better? Do they push you and stretch you? Are they that basketball coach, right? When you were in school, that football coach that demanded the best out of you in every single day, they're brainwashing you to believe that you're capable of more. Are they doing that? Some of them say, some of them. All right, so who in the room isn't doing it? By the way, if you're in service and parts, are you a leader? Yes. Can you still talk life into every single employee around you? Yes. Can a service manager still go out to a customer and say, thank you so much for servicing your vehicle with us. By the way, I want to take a picture with you, give you a shout out on Facebook, just tell you how much we love you for servicing your car here. It means everything to us. Okay, let's take that picture. By the way, I'm going to share this on my page. Also, I'd like to take this little celebration post and share it on your page so we can let all your friends know where you service your vehicle. Is that okay with you? Yeah, now all 5,000 of their friends know that they service their car with him and that that person trusts him, which is you guys, and now they pull into your driveway. How many times can we do that a day? My question is, how long would it take if every single person in this room started to share two or three or four experiences a day that happened in the dealership that we call celebrations? We shared it on our page, which just reminded the people that we know what we do, how, how great we are, what we do, who we are, what we do, how great we are, what we do, and, and, and where you can find us, right, where we're at, okay? And then also we shared it to their page. Guys, without the share to their page, does all this go away? Without sharing a post to their page. Burkheimer, I take a picture with you, me and you, and this guy right here, okay? He's your friend, right? He's on your Facebook page, but he's not on mine. 
If I post me and your picture on my page, he doesn't see it. He, he doesn't know that you like me. He, he doesn't know because he's not on your page. But he's on, he, or he's not on my page, he's on your page because he's your friend on Facebook. So I'm gonna ask you to just click a little share button because I tagged you in the, in, in the post. And I'm gonna click you to, and I'm gonna ask you to share it on your page. And the second you share it, you know what? The second you hit that little button, speed, bam! He knows who I am immediately. Berkheimer's with Andy Elliott. Who is this guy? He's a sales trainer. Let me look him up. Guess what happens? That's what I want with all of y'all's people. I want everybody to look up who you guys are and see how awesome you are.